Hello everybody, my name is Gothic Lord UK. Today we've got something a little bit silly. We have a tier list. This is a tier list of all the boss blinds in Bellatro and the small blind and the big blind are thrown in there. But this is how much does the art on the boss blind actually represent the thing the boss blind is named after? Because some of them make a lot of sense and some of them a little less so. So we're going to go through them here and see what we are working with. At the very top, we have Amber Acorn. Well, let's go through our categories. We've got A+, plus, no notes, perfection. I can see what you were going for. If I squint, I can see it. Maybe there's something to this and it's just a line. So, Amber Acorn. It's amber, it's like yellow, and it's kind of acorny, although if you showed that symbol to anybody who didn't know what it was, I don't think acorn would be their first thought. So I think amber acorn, I can see what you're going for there, but I don't think it is the thing that it's meant to be, you know? Uh, big blind, A plus no notes, small blind, A plus no notes. That's just spelled out for you. They shouldn't really be on the list, but they snuck themselves in here somehow. Cerulean Bell. I think it's better than Amber Acorn, but I'm still not convinced that necessarily you would show that to somebody and they go, oh yeah, that's a bell. I think you get it if you know what it is, but, and I think it's better than Amber Acorn. So we'll stick it to the left. I think that's how these things go. Crimson Heart. I mean, you know exactly what that is. A plus, no notes, Crimson Heart, perfect. Now things, are good. Actually, let's finish off the boss blinds, you know? Uh, what's the leaf? Verdant leaf. I think that's a leaf. I think it's fairly plain that it's a leaf. We'll stick that guy in there. And violet vessel. Like, yeah, I think that can go up with A plus no notes. That is a, a goblet, a cup. It's violet, it's purple. Sure, sorted. Now we have the weird stuff. So what do we have first? The arm. Is this an arm? Do you think this looks like an arm to you? Like if I squint, is it like a shoulder and like a hand flicking out of the side? Or maybe, maybe there's something to this, but it's not incredible. Number two, what is this guy? The club. I'm sorry, the club? The club like the thing with the clovers, like on the playing cards? This is just a line. It's just a line. Why are you called the club? It's just a line. The eye. I don't even have to check what this is because it's plain enough to see it was an eye. If this was a face, that's how a child would draw an eye. A plus, no notes. Then the fish. Like, maybe, like this is the, the not the scale, the fin on the back, the dorsal fin. Like I kind of associate that one more with sharks and sharks are technically a type of fish, whereas dolphins are not, they're mammals. I think if you squint, you can see that that's a fish, just barely. All right, what is this guy? The flint. Like, I think of a flint and steel, two things that you slice together to make a spark if you're making a fire. Maybe, just maybe. I mean, I, I would never think flint if I looked at this. I think maybe there's something to this. It's better than the arm, but it's not quite if I squint, I can see it. Then next, the goad. This is just the club turned 180 degrees and pink. It's just a line. That's all it is. It's just a line. What's next? This guy. The head. Maybe if I'm a goose or a duck, like at least at the very, very least, there's like a neck and then something at the top of the neck, but just barely. Maybe, maybe there's something to it, but not very much. The hook. Closer to like a grappling hook rather than captain hook kind of thing, but if I squint, I think I can see it. I think that can go up here, sure. Next, the house. If you turn this 90 degrees, it could kind of look like a triangular house with like a post or a, a light or something next to it. I think if I squint, I can see it. I think it's better than the hook. But it's still, it's not, not breaking up into uh, the top tier up here. The manacle. It looks more like a weight that you would do like a bicep curl with. But if you imagine that each of the lines at the sides are a hoop in profile that then becomes handcuffs, 
I can very almost think that there could be something to that. I think there's something to this. It's not the same thing if you squint that you're going to get an idea of what it is, but there's something to it. This guy, the mark. It's just a cross, but if treasure maps taught us anything as children, X marks the spot. This is an X. This is the mark. I can see what you were going for there. Makes enough sense to me. What is this? Is this the mouth? This is the mouth. Now, you might be looking at the club and the goad and going, oh, this is just a line, but no. You turn it, it's a great big smiley face. I can see what you were going for. Absolutely. It's not as good as the mark, but turn it around. Absolutely. I can see what you're going for. The needle. If the line going through the center of the top was a long, thin ribbon going through a hole in the eye of a needle, I think it would be better. But for what it is and for how we remember these things, I can remember, yeah, that is a needle with a piece of string going through the eye of the needle. I can see what you're going for. It's better than the mouth. It's not as good as the mark, but you get it. This guy, the pillar, looks more like the kind of thing you would see at the side of the road carrying electric cables or communication cables somewhere. And it's just it's just not a pillar, like if you think like Greek columns, that kind of thing. It's just not quite there. But if you squint, I can see it. I think it makes enough sense. This guy here, the ox. At first I was like, there's nothing oxy about this. You rotate it, it's an A, that's all there is to it. But you rotate it the other way, you've got kind of like the long chin face of the animal, then two ears and two horns. I can absolutely see that this, this is indeed an ox. It could have been rotated, but it's definitely an ox. Now, the psychic. Like, psychic has a k sound in it, but no. This, this is just like, it's, it's two lines or three lines, depending on how you count it, but it's just a line. Is this the plant? What is this? This is the plant. Like, my brain kind of goes more to the flag than the plant when I look at this. But I also think if you inverted it, you could have like a tiny root system and a stem. Maybe, maybe there's something to this. I think it's better than the flint, but not by much, but it's there. Now, you look at this and you go, oh, it's just a line, right? But no, this is the serpent. And the serpent is a snake. Any five-year-old can draw a snake. It's just a series of lines. A plus, no notes. It's perfect. It's a snake. It's a serpent. It's a snake. No arms, no legs. Just a wiggly line. Perfect. And then the tooth. The tooth. Well, technically, I would say this is the teeth because I think there's two of them. But if you had a great big mouth and you saw two fangs coming out of it, you think, yep, that's teeth. Absolutely. I can see what you were going for there. Pluralizing it is not quite where I want it to be. So not no notes. We do have a single note in there. But yeah, it's teeth. The tooth, the teeth, fine. The wall. Like, could this be two bricks stacked on top of each other? Yes. Could it be a slightly lopsided domino? Also true. I think I can see what you were going for there. Better than the mouth, not as good as the needle, but it looks almost like a wall. Then is this the water? It is. To my mind, it looks more like half of a spork but maybe there could be like some splashing involved or like a wave cresting or something, depending on which way you turn it. I think maybe there's something to this, but if you squint, it doesn't get more watery. So I'm gonna go with that. Here we have the wheel, very simple. If it had like eight spokes rather than four, I would think it looked more wheelish, like wagon wheel rather than just a cross in a circle. But I can see what you were going for there, a small note, but yeah, I think right there, solid work. And last but not least, who do we have? The window. This is not a window. This is, again, could be like a flag, could be a rake or a fork, but no, this this is just a line. It's just a line. So there you have it. That is every boss blind in Bellatro as assigned by how much their token looks like the thing that they are meant to represent. 
Thank you for joining me on this tiny bit of fun. I hope you stay well and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any suggestions for things that I should do, obviously we'll do all the big uh, tier lists soon. But if you have any suggestions of things I should cover, put them down below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.